Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. So there's your finished <coughs> painted sheath. It just needs a dangler loop on it. And the cleaver buoy. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name's Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. And if you've been watching the channel, you know everything that I have that I need. I make myself and use what I have, what I can find. So today my project is I have this. This is my uh, cleaver buoy that I made the other day. I've got a wrapped jute twine handle on it. Really turned out nice. So today the goal is to make a sheath for it. And I've got a piece of PVC pipe, CPVC pipes, what they have here in the Philippines. And this has been sitting out in the sun for about two years. Uh, for other projects that I was using it for, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be okay. We'll see. It's all bleached out. So <coughs> I cut I cut out length of it, and I'm going to give it about an inch below the tip, and I'd like to have about an inch above the blade for to make it into a nice, real nice dangler system. So, let's see how we're going to do this. I want it so it sits down inside the sheath a little ways. So I'm going to make a mark about an inch. About an inch above the end of the handle. Go about halfway. How does that look? About half, I guess. I can mark over here. We'll just continue this line here around. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then line down about like that. Yeah. Okay. So I cut down, cut down one side, cut down the other side, then cut across the two. That's about what I have here. Okay, so we got about, about here. This way, this this way, this will this will wrap around the handle a little bit here. We'll still have a little bit out the top. Now we can always cut the top part off if we want to, you know, round it off with the grinder. What we're going to do. Okay, so now the next step is to heat it up and then just basically go back and forth on the PVC. This end here will heat up quicker because it's thinner, just one half of it. Shoot inside of it a little bit, doesn't hurt. Do this in a ventilated place though because at least the PVC I have here is called CPVC which is I believe China PVC. Um, it does throw off some fumes. This stuff here is usually good only to heat up once and then the second time it cracks. Regular schedule 40 PVC back home is much more forgiving. Is 
have to go back and forth and back and forth until you get it hot. Having a little aluminum foil um, trough is really nice so you can go on the sides and it, it kind of bounces the heat all around. And it's pretty soft here but it's still pretty hard here. I'm going to make sure it's all nice and soft. Stiff on the end yet. Better now. That's probably pretty good. Okay, then what we're going to do is I got a piece of plywood here. We're just going to squash it down. Make sure you keep this area real straight. I'm just going to push on it and squash it down. Okay, now you can see it's pretty pretty now it's still a little soft in the center but that's okay let's see if the knife will fit in there luckily it's just the right size for the blade okay okay let's heat up the, the end one more time just a little bit Now when you heat it up again, it's going to go, want to go back to its original shape. See how it's starting to get rounder? The reason I did that is I want to make sure that the end is pretty tight. Okay, now you can see that's a lot, lot tighter there. Still got a little play. I'm just going to hold it with my fingers like this until it cools down. I want the end as tight as I can get it. In fact, where the blade is going to just the tip of the blade is going to hit this and that'll really be what's going to hold the the knife in the sheath real well because this isn't kydex you're not going to get a nice snap around the handle you're going to just make it so that it fits in there okay now we have to deal with the blade going in here So we're going to have to heat this part, top part up a little bit. This is where my sheets usually crack. It's the second and third heating. I'm going to try not to heat on this side too much. I want this to kind of stay solid over here. That'll hold the shape. Okay, then we'll slide the knife in. Puff it up a little bit. Push it in about like that. You see how I, I push it over a little bit? That's what we want. We want this side to stay pretty good. We'll also put a little bit of downward pressure right here. If you can get it really super rubbery, 
You could put it in like a Kydex press or something like that. That would also help. You can see it's kind of pulled over a little bit. But it goes it goes in and out just fine. Put my finger right here. Put it up here to my finger. And you can see the tip, the tip is right about here where it's tight. Okay, I've got a pretty good fit down here in the end. Looks pretty good from the top. All right, what I got so far is I took the grinder out and I rounded off the corners, straight up the end, flattened the sides down a little bit, made sure everything's pretty round. Okay, now I've got a piece of 220 sandpaper here and 120 is okay, 220 is okay, it doesn't make a difference. Just gonna rough up the edge, the outside faces this a little bit. That'll help make the paint stick to it. Clean up the edges a little bit from the grinder. Looks like a piece of paracord might keep you that, huh? A nice clean hole too. So let's try this out once. It's all cooled down now. Yeah, that's that's a pretty nice. That's one of the nicest sheets I've ever made. It's no no play in it whatsoever. No rattle in it whatsoever. Now is this as good as Kydex? No, not quite. Will this look as good as Kydex when it's all done? Yeah, it'll look just about the same. I think Kydex has a little bit more play to it when it's all done. Not quite as brittle, but for a poor man's sheath, everyday man's sheath, this is pretty nice, guys. I don't know what you think about it. I'll give it a quick shot of painting. So there's your finished <clears throat> painted sheath. It just needs a dangler loop on it and the cleaver buoy that goes in it. Take care, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day no more. Go out, have some fun. Watch your six really close. Know what's going on all around you all the time, guys. Be extra careful. Be safe. Thanks for watching.